You said you say bye fight fans too? Yeah, I said hey fight fans. And then bye fight fans. Radio Raheem here. Bleach in my veins, getting rid of this Rona. If Floyd Mayweather were to come out of retirement and face Lomachenko at 140 pounds, that would be the fight I would most want to see. Were you not entertained? <laughs> were you more entertained by KSI and Logan Paul or Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor? I was Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor, hands down. What? <laughs>
to fight just for our amusement, I think is sick. Like, hey, we have to, as an audience, be like, yo, you're worth more than that to us now. You did that already. We respect it. Like, the career is wonderful. The end, it, I mean, you know, I don't even want, the thing is, it forces us to talk about the end. Does anybody even remember the name Kevin McBride? Like, no. <laughs> but that's the guy who beat Mike Tyson. Like, on his stool, like, he quit. Against a, so if it had, 10 years ago, when Mike was 43, this was a terrible idea. Right. He's 53 years old. Like, it's, well, it's I a, completely a, agree with you. Like, could not agree more. I think this is a terrible decision. Um, I care more about his health than us getting a few minutes of, of entertainment on our televisions, quite frankly. So I think that there should be a cap to these men returning at certain ages. I just don't think it's healthy. Like it's not healthy at some, at what point, like if we, we claim to care about our athletes, right? We claim to care about their health, but who, whoever sanctions this does not care. <laughs> yeah, well, not so, so, go ahead. Here's the thing. I want to read this. Yeah. In case no one's read it. This is from the BKFC president, David Feldman. He said, we made a $20 million offer to Mike Tyson and his team the other day. To be quite frank, they were very concerned about messing up his legacy and stuff like that. So we'll see where it goes the next couple of days. Now, I'm gonna read between the lines and stuff like that probably also means that they're still a bit, like they should be concerned about his health. And I know that there's been talk about it possibly being against Shannon Briggs, although that was not confirmed at all. But we know that Shannon Briggs has a deal with BKFC. So that's a bit different, isn't it? So they're, they're assuming that that's a fight they can match up. But the question that I beg, and I know that you want to ask as well, is does the fans actually want to see this? Do they actually want to see Mike Tyson return in a bare knuckle fight? Like, let's really, really think about that. Because you're talking about potentially damaging someone's health to the point of no return. Okay. It's like my dad is in, he, my dad's in his late fifties. Even if he was the most, like, even if he was a fighter or an athlete in his day, there's no way in hell I'm going to want to see my, my father go in, in a ring and, and, and potentially get beat up. I think quarantine has given everybody cabin fever. Like these are not <laughs> the only two fighters talking about making senseless comebacks. I heard Evander Holyfield, who I sat down with in Las Vegas during Wilder Fury Fight Week. An incredible guy. Like, a wonderful uh, ambassador to the sport. A career to be lauded. And man who is clearly delusional if he thinks there's a future for him inside the boxing ring. But I'm almost going to give, like, everybody a pass and hope that once the gates <clears throat> actually open up, that people come back to their senses. Like, we're just sitting here with no boxing, and the old heads are like, well, shit, why not me? You know what I mean? Like, we're all, <laughs> we're all maybe ready to go a little crazy and do things we'd otherwise not do if only we could go outside and do anything. But we, as a boxing community, have to say no. Michelle, you're not going to let your dad go out of the house and start construction working, for, let's say. This, this, forget about somebody trying to hit him with a sledgehammer. You don't want your 50-year-old father, like, busting concrete. Boxing is a brutal sport on your body, just the training aspect of it. Much less some other guy who's been training trying to bust your head open. We, our, our fighters who have made their name, who have given us years and years of their life, have put blood, sweat, tears, put their life on the line many a night in the ring for our amusement and, of course, for their own legacy and uh, wealth, deserve now for us to do them the favor of protecting them from themselves. That's what the referee's job is, right, in the ring. That's what the quartermaster's job is in the ring. Well, they're out of the ring now. So it's the fight fan's job to protect the fighter from himself. No, Evander. Yeah. No, Mike. You know what, Shannon? Let's not go, champ. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I agree. I mean, even George Foreman had a lot to say about 
Mike Tyson coming back. I mean, he thinks that he's more than capable of doing it. Yeah, well, like it I said, like I said, it, it's not something that I support. Is it like a, at first when I heard all of this, I assumed it was like, you know, we have like the fantasy Fridays where we like, if so-and-so was to fight so-and-so, like who would win? I didn't really think this was like real. <laughs> like, oh, we can still do that? Yeah, I'm like, we can still, wait, who, what, why? So, I mean, if it's a, if it's a, a money issue, it's still a bad decision. Because let's terrible. say, for example, okay, you got paid $20 million. Well, what happens if you come out of the ring and you're so, something happens to you, you don't get to enjoy that money. Is it really worth you possibly spending the rest of your life here on earth? It, it capacitated to, to a point where you may not be able to do anything? Mm, I don't think so. But again, I, I, I'm curious if the fans actually want to see that. Do they think it's a good idea? Yeah, and I'm afraid, Michelle, it's probably going to be a mixed bag. Because I've no. seen a lot of reaction initially when they thought the fight was made. And I don't hear a lot of people talking like us. In fact, I feel here very few echoing these sentiments. But maybe that's because it's not real, real yet. They're excited about Instagram video, and there's nothing going on, so we'll take anything. But Please. But will be the same people that when he's, God forbid, something happens to him, they're going to be like, this is disgusting. How did boxing allow this to happen? Like, no, it's no. Like, They'll be, like, making memes of how Mike Tyson can't form a sentence anymore. They'll be sh showing Shannon Briggs in a wheelchair or Vander Holyfield having a fucking heart attack. Like, it'll it'll be fodder. And what I'm hoping is that before all of that kind of trolling and really disgusting elements of just the human behavior comes out, that the better of us will stop the community from allowing this to go forward in the first place. Because we can stop it. Like, we can say, no, just as, as a voice of the consumer, this is not okay. We can't expect a promoter to do that for us because they're going to make too much money off it. And you can't talk a fighter who believes he can still fight out of fighting. You and I both, Michelle, know that tirelessly. So it's up to the community of fans to be like, yo, you are more valuable to us than this now. You've done that already. I'd rather hear what you have to say about the up-and-coming fighters. I'd rather see you training the next generation. I'd rather see you smoking pot on your podcast and making jokes yeah. than putting yourself in harm's way. We got guys who can still do that, and boxing ain't going nowhere. You don't have to save it. Like, chill. And hopefully yeah. they uh, try to make this fight in the U.K. or England because I don't think they would pass <laughs> the new rules that are established for British boxing. Please, let's yeah. talk about this, because it, it has me in my feelings. Yeah, of course. It has you, you know it's going to have you in your feelings and in your house, <laughs> because it sounds like we may not be welcome at this venue. You said you say bye fight fans too? Yeah, I said hey fight fans. And then? Bye fight fans. Radio Raheem here, bleaching my veins, getting rid of this Rona. <laughs> If Floyd Mayweather were to come out of retirement and face Lomachenko at 140 pounds, that would be the fight I would most want to see. Were you not entertained? <laughs> were you more entertained by KSI and Logan Paul or Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor? I was Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor, hands down. What? <laughs>